What's up everybody, Chad here for yet another Taco Tuesday and today we are going to be discussing how to do a transmission fluid exchange on your 2016 Tacoma. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So once you have crawled underneath your truck and once you locate the drain bolt, which is right here, not to be confused with the tr uh, check plug, which is right here closer to the driver's side of the transmission, and then the fill plug, which is right up here on the passenger side of the transmission. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to get to, but if you get the right angle on it, uh, you won't have any problems at all. So let's get into the fluid exchange. All you are going to need for this simple drain and refill process for this transmission on your Toyota Tacoma is going to be obviously a fluid pump, a ratcheting wrench, a 14 millimeter socket, and a 15 16 socket. So now we do have the drain plug replaced with the crush washer that is on it and now we are going to proceed with filling it. But before doing so, it is smart to take a look at where you do pour the used transmission fluid into uh, from the pan just to see exactly how much came out so you can replace it with the exact same amount. In which case, this is in between the two and a half and the three quart mark. So you are looking at about two and three quarters quarts that came out of the pan. And now that I have made a sufficient mess with ATF and all kinds of stuff here around the garage, I do have everything buttoned up here in the transmission. The drain plug is all torqued down, as is the fill plug, and now we are going to start up the vehicle, make sure everything sounds right with the torque converter and the transmission, put it through park reverse neutral drive and take it on a test drive and make sure everything is good with this automatic transmission on this Tacoma. has been shifting fine there was no reason for doing this other than I just recently hit 45,000 miles so uh, the reason that I am doing 45,000 miles on that transmission fluid exchange is because I have done not only a decent amount of off-roading but I have also towed a fair share and hauled um, a bit of uh, equipment and over time obviously as that transmission fluid heats up cools down heats up cools down it is getting used and used and it will eventually start to get darker and darker and that is something that I wanted to prevent so obviously I did not do a full transmission fluid swap because uh, according to the service manual for this truck and its configuration with the towing package there's about 11 or so quarts in the whole automatic transmission system so that includes the transmission itself uh, the torque converter and as well as the transmission cooler that goes up to the front of the engine now a problem that some of these Tacomas did have from the factory um, in 2016 and maybe even some in 2017 is that they were being delivered to dealer lots with a lower transmission fluid level than they were supposed to and while the transmission was still operating in what would be considered normal conditions um, some people were finding that the, the shifting was not quite up to par with what they thought would be a uh, brand new transmission so they brought it into the dealership had them check the fluid level and go through the whole process of Toyota's like seal transmission uh, fluid checking process and I uh, come to find out some of them were a quart or even two quarts low so earlier on because I had heard about it and read about it all over Tacoma World I decided hey I'm gonna take it in and have a check now this was when my truck probably had six seven thousand miles on it um, and they had found at the time that the transmission fluid was as it was supposed to be um, that there was no problems with the yada 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 so uh, 
Um, myself being curious about it, by now I'm like, okay, you know, I do have the warranty on the truck and hopefully the powertrain isn't gonna just die out on me and it hasn't so far. It's been fine and I haven't had any lights or indications that uh, there was anything wrong with it. But as you all had seen, uh, the transmission, uh, just the pan itself when I had dropped that, um, it was between two and a half and three quarts, about uh, two and three quarters quarts came out of it. So um, I did a little bit of research online right after doing that and it seems that even in the second gen Tacomas, you're supposed to get about three quarts out of uh, just the pan itself uh, if you do the transmission fluid exchange. Um, so I'm not terribly worried about it, but just for my own peace and everything, I decided to add back three quarts, not the exact amount that was in there. Uh, everything is feeling fine. It's up to temperature and I've been driving around for a decent amount now. And after going on the highway and everything like that, it's shifting just as it did before. Everything does feel fine. And I do have a little bit of peace of mind now that I have done that exchange. So you may be asking yourself, why exactly did I do just a transmission fluid exchange, especially if there's 11 quarts in the system and I'm only exchanging out about three for three. So the reason for that is because this sealed transmission that Toyota uses is very, very complicated to flush out. And the reason for not flushing it out is one, uh, that is an expensive process. And two, I do not have the equipment to do so. Um, that requires quite a bit of, uh, I'm going to call it a heavier piece of equipment to uh, remove the fluid and cycle through new. Um, so it didn't look all that bad. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera for you guys, um, but the fluid obviously wasn't the nice ruby red that it should be. Um, it was a little bit darker, um, but it was definitely still see-through. It wasn't a pitch black or brown. It didn't smell burnt, which was a very good thing for me to see considering the towing and the amount of driving that I've done. Um, I wasn't exactly sure how the transmission fluid was going to look. So what's easy enough is dropping out three quarts, exchanging in three brand new quarts, and then that gets cycled in throughout the system and continues to flow as usual. Um, there's also a filter that is on this transmission, but for the sake of this video and the purposes that I have for my own self and for the truck, um, I decided that I wasn't going to purchase a filter and then in turn for doing that, a new gasket because you have to remove the pan, uh, then the gasket, and then the filter. Um, that is something that I haven't done, but will most likely do uh, probably before 100,000 miles. Again, this is just for peace of mind. Um, and then th from there, I would probably have to replace even more, probably closer to four or five quarts uh, with the filter and whatever else may come out when I do remove that filter. So as you all saw, that was a very simple process for exchanging the transmission fluid in my Tacoma. Now at 45,000 miles, obviously that's not something that you have to do if you have your truck under a normal use type schedule. Um, Toyota doesn't necessarily have an interval for it anymore. At one point it was 60,000 miles, um, but Toyota will tell you as they do with a lot of their other uh, transmission fluids in their vehicles that it is a lifetime fluid, which means basically for the life of the vehicle or however long you're going to keep it basically is my understanding of it. Um, but for those of you that are DIYers and want to definitely make sure that you're doing the work, learning it and doing it the right way, um, this is something that's very simple that you can do even in your driveway if you wanted to, if you had the right equipment and you were comfortable enough uh, crawling underneath your vehicle. Um, so doing it in the garage, it was a very simple process and I would recommend anybody that wants to do this at whatever interval they choose. Uh, it's, it's a very uh, simple process. It's very, very similar to uh, changing the oil, uh, in which case uh, for me, I did not change the filter. It's not completely necessary to do in a transmission. It's a sealed uh, system and it's not bringing in a whole lot of air other than uh, when the fluid expands, there is a breather that's on this transmission. So it does have that and does have the possibility of getting some sort of contamination. But if you guys do have any questions or comments about the process uh, that I did for my truck, I'm sure there were better ways to do it and ways that I could have uh, kept a little bit more clean and obviously worn different gloves and whatnot. But hey, that's a project that's in the garage and you're going to get dirty doing it sometimes. But I appreciate you all watching it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so and giving this video a like. And we will see you guys in the next video. There is more content coming out every single week. Uh, and with these trucks, there's no shortage of anything that we can do, especially because we do a lot of the stuff on our own. So thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.